Hi, this is Pearl and welcome to my channel. So it's been a little while since I've recorded a video. My computer was on the fritz and I've been working with Apple to try to get that fixed. But in the meantime, I have been trying the new Chanel Sublimage Ultimate Radiance Generating Serum Foundation. I have this in the color B30 and I've been wearing it all week. I like it. And I just got my new order in from Chanel. So let's go ahead and open this up. I got three of the new Rouge Coco Bloom colors, so we'll try these on as well. So I wanted to do a wear test for you today with the Sublimage. I already put on my Forsali Liquid Powder Primer. Um, this works well with this Radiance Foundation because it is a Radiance Foundation and because I am oily, I noticed that when I wear the primer, it wears beautifully on my skin. So I do have mine in the color B30, and this was recently released in the US, and this is what this color looks like. Look at how pretty that is. And the thing that I really love about this foundation is it feels like I have nothing on. It did come with this brush. It's a domed brush, so I'm gonna use that and put this up. There's the Farsali powder, I didn't rub it in. So let let me put this on one side of my face so you can see what it looks like. This is a nice, um, dense brush, but this foundation is pretty uh, liquidy, so I do need a little bit more than I would with the average foundation, but it doesn't feel like I have anything on, so I honestly don't mind. And I take little half pumps at a time, or little pumps at a time, and I put this on my skin. It's got a fragrance to it, so if you're against fragrance, this is not gonna be the one for you. But once I put the foundation on, I can't smell it. So there's that. So here's the side with one layer on, and here's the side without. So let me try building this up just a little bit right there, and I'm gonna take this and just stipple this into my areas of hyperpigmentation. And it is like serum, so it is so lightweight. And I love it. Really, really have been enjoying this foundation. Okay, so there it is with one light layer, or a layer and a little stippling of building up. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the other side of my face. Okay, now I'm just gonna take a damp beauty blender and I'm gonna just press that into the skin, make sure I don't have any brush marks left. Because this is a light, serum foundation and because I put more than one layer on, like a layer and a half, especially into the areas of hyperpigmentation, sometimes it can be brush marks, but if I just press my sponge in, all those brush marks disappear. So there's that. And today I'm gonna use a Clinique Even Better All Over Concealer. I have mine in the color WN46. I've been really enjoying this concealer. I'm gonna put this under my eyes, on my nose, and then the areas of hyperpigmentation. This concealer is gonna be on sale during the 21 days of Ulta Beauty. So there you have it. I love this foundation. But let's see, it is 10.15. Let me go put on the rest of my face and I'll be back to do the lips. Okay, I'm back. I put on the rest of my face. Let's look at these new lipsticks by Gucci. These are called the Rouge Coco Bloom. I got three of the 20 shades. I was gonna get more, but the other colors that I wanted were on pre-order and I just wanted this to be sent right away. So the Rouge Coco Bloom is a hydrating, plumping, intense shine lip color. I was wondering what the difference was between this and the Coco Flash. So that's what it must be. A lipstick that combines long wearing, oh, the Rouge Coco Flash, I don't think says it's long wearing. Intense color and a high shine finish with hydrating benefits. Woo, that's my favorite kind. So I got three colors. Let's go ahead and look at the first one. I got the color 116 Dream. It looks similar to the Rouge Coco Flash and the component and everything. This is 116 Dream. Let's go ahead and swatch it right here. Ooh, it feels really soft. Let's go ahead and try this on my lips. Oh. Okay, so this feels thicker than the Coco Flash, but not thick like a lipstick. It's a little bit like emollient, but not too thick and heavy. It feels really comfortable on the lips. So this is 116 Dream. Mm, love this color. Okay, next I have 126, and this is called Season. 
Look at this bright fuchsia red kind of color. Let's swatch it right here. <gasps> Doesn't that look so fun? So that's 126 season. Oh, yes. Oh, mm-hmm. Love this color. So that's 126 season. Oh, I'm loving these. I'll have to let you know down in the comments below how these last on my lips. Okay, and then the last one I got is in the number 138 Vitali, and I decided to get like a deeper red. Doesn't that look like the perfect red? And there it is, Vitali. Oh. that's pretty that is pretty this is red Vitali this is 136 Vitali Ooh, I'm loving these they're so comfortable okay let's talk about the products I tried I already know I love this sublimage and I do like the brush that it came with it works beautifully together this is so serum like it feels like I honestly feel like I have nothing on my face right now so this is a huge win for me. I will go ahead and do a wear test and check in with you, check in with you in a few hours to see how this wears. So you can see what I see. Okay, and then as for these Rouge Coco Blooms, I think I like these more than the Rouge Coco Flash because it's got more pigment. Um, it's a high shine. It feels, it looks like a lipstick, but it feels like a lip balm. I'm Curious how this is gonna wear. Okay, let's see how this all wears and I'll see you in a few hours. Okay, it's 1.15. It's been three hours since I first applied this foundation. Let's take a closer look. Look at how well that, don't mind the mascara. It's a mascara I don't like. I just need to declutter it. Anyway, look at my skin. It looks so good. I have not powdered. I have not blotted. I have not retouched. It is breaking up around my nasal labial folds, but every foundation does that for me but so far i'm loving this foundation i love how natural it looks like it doesn't look like i have makeup on it's amazing okay i'm really liking this usually at the three hour mark i feel like i want to blot and powder but with the radiance type of foundation i usually do need to blot and powder at this point but i am loving how this is wearing okay i'll see you back in a few hours Okay, it's 4.15, so it's been six hours since I put on the Sublimage foundation. Let me bring you in a little closer. This foundation looks so good. I have not powdered or touched up, and I think a lot of that is the Farsali Liquid Primer, but usually I have to blot and powder by now, and look at that. I don't have to do that. And it looks like my skin. I'm still loving this now don't mind the nose marks around my nose for the glasses and it did break up around my nasal labial folds but every foundation I have does that I have not been able to find a foundation that doesn't do that for me so that's not the foundation that's obviously me but I am loving how this foundation looks on me what do you guys think so I notice it's coming off a little bit around my nose, but I've been rubbing it and I've had glasses on and so I've been moving things around a lot on my nose. So it is coming off a little bit right there, but I think it's doing pretty good considering I've been putting my glasses on and off because I've been editing videos and um, doing voiceovers and stuff. So this Radiance Foundation, I am loving, loving. I love how it looks so skin-like on my skin. I'm loving how this is wearing. I don't know that this is going to be an all day type of wear. It's got skincare benefits. So I think it, I, I'm loving this. I'm loving this. I highly recommend this. Also, let's talk about the Coco Bloom. I have this on. Now, when I put it on this morning, I did have a snack and I was drinking a lot of water and it was coming off like around the inside, but the outside was still there a lot. So I think if I wasn't eating or drinking, it probably would look fine. So for the first couple of hours, it looks great. Great, not just good, but great. It's super comfortable to wear. I forget I have it on. I'm gonna get more colors. <laughs> okay.
Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. Share with a friend if you think someone else might be interested in this type of video. And I'll see you next time.